Mark Rover could have just told you how to measure the height of something. Instead, he jumps off of a cliff to show you. Zack and Jay could make videos about yachts using photos. Instead, they knocked on the doors of yachts in London to go further. These top creators don't just try to make interesting content, they go to war with boring. <laughs> And the first weapon they pull out in battle is to show, not tell. Anyone can just say something, but taking the message of your video and finding a way to show it creatively to prove your point is what makes content really special. And that's what Eric Floberg did when he made this video. Now he could have stood there and ranted about how YouTubers always talk about how their kit doesn't matter when it comes to making videos, even though they use tons of it to make their own. The rant could have lasted 15 minutes, but instead he made this and in 43 seconds proved his point in an entertaining way, simply saying, What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about why gear doesn't matter. That 60 second video got 1.2 million views. But you don't want to just show, that can still be boring. And that's why drawing paint is very exciting. You see, you want to go to the next level and find a really creative and interesting way to make your point like those guys do. So here's an example of what I mean. Corridor Crew, a visual effects channel, didn't just show their viewers how to remake a scene from the 1980s Tron film on their computer, they set a challenge to remake the entire scene in a day. 24 hours for two guys to remake a video that would have taken a team weeks. So not only do you learn how they did it as part of the story, you were literally pulled into the story with them and are willing them on. And what makes this approach of a storytelling challenge even better is it had stakes. The stakes being the time limit that they had set themselves. And stakes create tension in content and that makes video more thrilling, more entertaining. And it slaps boredom around the face. But that's hard to do, isn't it? And yeah, you're right, it is. But hard is good. It's an opportunity for you because most people just won't go through these lengths to make sure their content isn't boring. So if you want to rise to this challenge, then the first thing you need to do, start by planning your video as normal in bullet points like this is fine. Get down all of the information you want to get across in your video and then put it into an order. Now, whatever you do, don't make this. You've got to bolt on another round of work here. This is the creativity round. And this is where you're going to focus only on finding finding ways to make sure every point you want to make can be made in a more creative way than just talking about it. You can keep it simple to start, and that might just be by using B-roll to help show what you are talking about. It might be by telling a story that proves a point, or it might be by working out a metaphor you can use to help with every point that you want to make. It's all about the planning and ensuring that you make every second count. Make every second as interesting as you possibly can. Let's look at Casey Neistat as an example here. Casey always shows here he is reviewing a GoPro, not just talking about it, but flying down a water slide to prove his point. That's interesting. Then suddenly he flies down a street in New York on a boosted board, not just talking to you on camera, but everyone around him. Because, let's face it, walking is boring, so if you can make that more interesting, why wouldn't you? Now I don't have one of those fancy boards, but I do have a bike, so let's see if this makes the video more interesting. Safety first. What if you don't have a bike or live anywhere fancy or nothing interesting if that happens to you? Well, sometimes you have to fight dirty in war, so you make it up. I mean, I didn't just crash, of course not. But I needed to do something big to make my point stand out, to make you pay more attention, and to make my content less boring. All it needed was just a few different camera angles, some editing, a few sound effects. This story became more interesting. But at the same time, I also used this little white lie to prove a point and educate you. Now this just isn't about lying here, but exaggerating the way that you get your information across. Act out scenarios to help make that information more digestible and more interesting for your viewers. And then, and this is crucial, you have to let go of the information that you think is important in your videos and establish if it's really important to your viewer. And that is really hard, distinguishing between the two. Editing is the last chance you have to make sure every second counts. Is every piece of information that you present something that delivers on the title and adds value to your content? Because if it's not, you've got to get rid of it. When I sit with creators and work on their content with them, it's pretty common that a 12 minute video should have actually been six or eight minutes long. And there's four minutes of information in there that's just getting in the way. So forget this whole crazy, make longer videos for the sake of watch time. Nearly every video that David Dobrik makes is 4 minutes 21. The video I showed you earlier was under 1 minute. Logan Paul's videos are very short, because it's not your job to make longer videos. It's your job to make your videos so good, your viewers want more. And this video here is going to help you do just that. Hard, okay? Okay.